Saudi Krab. It's Tuesday, June 19th. I'm JP Misanza, and this is Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Now here's the news you need to know. The first 42 monkeys neutered under the Wild Monkey Campaign were released back into the mangrove swamp in which they came in Rasada, with more neutered monkeys releases yet to come, according to wildlife officials. So far, 71 captured monkeys have been neutered, officials say, adding that sterilizing about 60% of any wild monkey troop should help control their population, which has been among the chief concerns prompting the campaign. The cages have already been set up at the monkey viewpoint at Kosire, with 52 monkeys having been captured there. In total, 216 wild monkeys have been caught so far. The campaign began just last week after a series of public town hall meetings at areas where the monkeys live, with local residents voicing their opinions, and while mass sterilization program is underway, some of the monkeys will be moved to islands offshore. Starting June 29th all the way to July 28th for one month, the busy section of Chalfa West Road immediately north of the Chalong Circle it will be closed overnight from 9.30 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. so that workers can start digging the tunnel for the Chalong underpass. The long overdue project is entering the serious excavation phase in which traffic will be affected overnight and a map showing the redirection required was released earlier this week as motorists with small vehicles, regular cars, traveling from Caron or Rawai anywhere near the south, they will be urged to use Soy Anuson from Patak Road to travel around the road closure and continue north on Chafa West Road. Larger vehicles, meanwhile, coming from Caron or Rawai will have to deviate at the Chalong Circle and drive along Chafa East Road to continue north. The 540 million baht project was supposed to be done in September of last year, but to no one's surprise, an oversight with moving power lines, water mains, land acquisitions and moors has delayed the project, and at last report, it was just under 50% complete with no concrete deadline. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. There are no special temporary Thai driving licenses for tourists to use while vacationing here in Phuket, despite what the vice governor told the Dutch ambassador just two weeks ago that tourists can obtain a temporary license. The chief of the driving license department in Phuket responded to queries from the Phuket News about Vice Governor Tawon Wat Konkeo saying that a temporary driving license exists. Well, it certainly does not, but what does exist is the standard temporary two-year driving license that everyone can get when first applying for a license in Thailand. The process includes booking an appointment with the transport office, which could, be, which could take weeks, obtaining a letter from the embassy or Phuket Immigration confirming your registered address, or if you are a tourist, a hotel. Completing five hours of driving trainer by a recognized school or instructor and passing the standard written tests and driving tests. Phuket does not have a public mass transportation system as of yet, so until we do, tourists who rent any kind of vehicle are most likely driving without proper licenses unless they have an international driver's permit issued in their home country. If not, it's a 500 baht fine for each time they violate the law. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. It's time to do something about your body. Get on track by learning your hidden numbers with Fit3D Thailand, the most advanced body composition and posture analysis based on your own 3D avatar. It takes only 40 seconds, and within minutes you'll have a detailed report that includes everything from your fat mass, lean mass, body measurements, posture analysis, balance, and much more. Track your progress with the most accurate pro scanner available. Visit or contact us today. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. 3,000 people are now behind bars nationwide for placing bets or having anything to do with gambling on the World Cup. And they were all rounded up in the first few days following the tournament's commencement. Authorities have been cracking down hard on football gambling, which is illegal in Thailand, and are working with banks and phone service operators to shut down the nearly 100 websites that are operated by Thai people, although over 100,000 football gambling websites have been detected. Police do know that many bookmakers have moved on from written records and are now online, making it much easier and widespread to gamble on all kinds of sporting events, with the Deputy National Police Chief admitting that gambling on this World Cup has easily surpassed the previous events. A list of 270 names with 
officials on them who were allegedly complicit on the embezzlement of millions of bot that was meant to go to social welfare centers nationwide. It's being forwarded to the Department of Social Development and Welfare so they can consider disciplinary action and possibly even take it. The Public Sector Anti-Corruption Commission, the PACC, are leading the investigation into over 60 welfare centers nationwide that are meant to help distribute not just welfare for the poor, but also in charge of social welfare programs for the destitute. So far, the probe has found everyone from high-ranking officials to low-level staff allegedly involved in the embezzlement scandal, which erupted in Conquen earlier this year when Panita Yotpanya, a 22-year-old intern, filed a complaint that she was ordered to fill in forms and sign receipts on behalf of 2,000 villagers, worth a total of nearly 7 million baht. The case sparked a large-scale investigation into the welfare projects. And that's it for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, soundproof windows, visit pbcphuket.com. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Tong's favorite steakhouse for the past 20 years. For more, find Sam's Steaks and Grill on Facebook. When you think of steaks, think Sam's.